you're thinking about getting a MFA in creative writing, and specifically a low residency program, you need to ask yourself, are you ready to fully commit to be a writer? I knew that I wanted to continue my education and move on to get my master's. I have a background in photography and poetry, and so this is going to be a, a really great opportunity to combine both of my passions. I'm a single dad, I'm a working professional. The idea of a low residency program was really good for me. I'm specializing in playwriting and screenwriting and writing for television. The thing that's great about a low residency MFA writing program is it makes the students replicate the way they're going to have to work as professionals there. For the majority of the time, it's going to be um, an online mentorship where I, I produce my own manuscript and we have discussions online. They read, they write, they're disciplined about their writing, they have a schedule, they have to stick to it. They get feedback from peers and from mentors, certainly, who are more experienced. Don't forget the similes and metaphors. I wanted something that was smaller so that I would have a lot more one-on-one -on -one time with a mentor. They're getting access to instructors they're not going to get access to anywhere else. It's amazing because a lot of the mentors are very qualified. All of them have a lot of success in their fields. My film and then the Receive just won the jury award for best feature. Um, so LA Film Festival! LA film Festival. All of the faculty and the students have a very close bond and develop a really good relationship with one another, and they're very helpful. We sort of inspire each other. We really support each other. We communicate outside of the residency. I love the low residency model. I, I would have done it, you know, if, if I were trying to uh, get an MFA right now, because the students don't have to uproot themselves from their lives. They can continue their jobs, and they have a set amount of work they're supposed to do every month, and they make it happen. This, I have met with my mentor this morning, and these are the playwrights that I'll be looking at and doing annotations for. Between their peers here, their mentors, the reading and writing that they've done, they take these gigantic leaps all of a sudden. All sorts of doors open for them creatively and personally. I love it. It's the best thing that's ever happened to me in this part of my life. It gives you a lot of freedom, which is nice. <laughs>